Buhari-led government recorded low successes in many areas. Senator Ahmed Lawan. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Barely two weeks to the conduct of the most anticipated presidential primary election of the ruling party, the All Progressive Congress APC, Senate President, and one of the presidential hopefuls under the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC, Senate Ahmad Lawan, has admitted that the President Buhari led administration has recorded low successes in many areas. So he just found out. Huh? Interesting. The Senate President made this known on Thursday while addressing Casino State APC stakeholders and delegates ahead of the forthcoming APC primaries to elect its candidate for the 2023 general elections. He promised to intensify efforts on uniting the country and tackle every act of terrorism as well as other forms of criminalities if elected president in 2023. As reported by Vanguard, Dr. Lawan said that from 2015 to date, the Bahari led APC government has recorded successes in some areas, half successes in some areas, and very low successes in many areas. He added that my administration, by the grace of God, when we will get there, we will ensure that we reinforce those areas that we have succeeded fully under this administration and also cover those areas where we have achieved half successes as well of those areas that we have not succeeded properly at all. We have to rework those kinds of areas and redirect our efforts as well and ensure that the necessary resources are put in place to secure Nigeria. Everybody is coming out to say the truth. Can you see that these people know what they are doing? They will be oblivious of the truth. Hmm? But during the election period, six months to election one year, their brain will continue to, you know, to be acting normal. Immediately, they go into power. Their brain will start forming abnormality again. Nigerians, do not be deceived. Imagine Ahmad Lawan coming out to open it to say, and he's even sugarcoating it. They're recording low successes. They're recording short successes. Kenny. These people, that is to show you they know what they're doing. They know what exactly they're doing. At this point, I keep saying, Nigerians do not need anyone to come and start telling them that this is who to vote for. I am saying the truth. If at this point, I keep saying it, you're actually still waiting to, for anybody to tell you to take before you vote for anyone. Especially when you know that this person is not good for Nigeria. You want to vote for him because uh, he will give me money. Okay, no problem. But, but posterity will not be kind to you. Yes. Just if you are just collecting or selling your vote, if you are selling your vote or in any way you are actually going to um, wait for, use that, you sell your vote for appointments or money or food or whatever. Just be prepared that for the next eight years of our life, things are going to go downwards and downwards so fast. You know when they say things is descending so so quickly? Uh -huh. That is how it is going to be. So, the thing is, these people, they always know what they are doing. When they are in position, their mouth will be sealed. Immediately, they leave that position or immediately, they are contesting for a bigger office. All of a sudden, their brain will begin functioning properly and they start doing things that not so, that even that they are ordinarily they are not even supposed to do. Ahmed Lawan is going to tell Castina. The president is from Castina. Imagine the audacity. He's going to Castina to tell them that look, oh, the president did not do it well. If I come, I'm going to do it well. Meaning he knows. This is the same Lamad Awan that that you, <laughs> that anything the, the president says he's going to do, he will do. He does not, he did not use his good office to stand up and say the president, no, this actually, I don't even think that there is a particular time that he did anything right. I'm sorry, you, I stand to be corrected. But most of the time, especially when a collection of loan and managing some things, he has failed and failed woefully. He has failed and failed woefully. <laughs> so, him coming out to say this now, uncle. <laughs> Uncle Lo, we are going to judge you with what, how you, how well you have done in previous areas. We are going to judge you with that. And then...
La Ahmed Lawan that could not stand up to say no, this is wrong on policies that is going to further um, put Nigerians in a very very difficult position. He said the Ahmed Lawan that could not could not come out and say let Nigerians let them have you know something to gladden their heart at least policies that will make them better. Is it the same Ahmed Lawan, the same Senate President? The same Senate president that he, see, do you know what the Senate president is sad for? Ha, ha, they are like the head of the legislature for crying out loud. People that make laws, they could not make laws. He could not make laws to save our country. He could not initiate it and push it forward. He is coming now, all of a sudden, <laughs> to come out and say he what he did not do when he was number three position, that he now wants to do. When is that number? He even, to the best of my knowledge, Ahmed Las, um, Ahmed Lawan, he even has what am I, I might call him number three position. He's at the almost number two position. Almost number two. Because the vice president, it is when he's delegated power. The powers um, 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 the Senate president has, the vice president do not have it. What do I mean? Meaning he can move, he can say this decision will hold. And all of a sudden, He's now coming out to run for presidency. Now, why? There are some things that, you know, that's why I keep saying I make follow put us for this problem. Yes, I make follow put us for this problem because there are some people that they should already know that uh, they should not even be nearing what they call presidency because of the way they performed. Yes, they should be able to judge themselves. I next you have criteria as if you score below 79, 80. Don't even near there. You understand me? If you score below and what will make you you will score yourself very well. As in if you score yourself, you go you will tell yourself that no, you, you need to, nobody will need to come and explain explaining to you. Yes. So somebody that was in that position, imagine make somebody they were supposed to help you. You know help you, then you can't say make you help and say if you help and ah no. Uncle, I, <laughs> you know helped me before. He is it's not it is going to still be the same thing, sir. No, no offense, sir. That's just it. So, Nigeria, it's over to you. If Ahmed Lawan, if he's a, your person, no problem. If he's the person you people want, no problem. But I still believe that at this point, Nigerians do not need a suit say or a say to tell them who is going to be better. This one is not, we don't know who go. You pick somebody who is competent enough. And when it goes in, you also make sure you change the constitution. Yes. You come together to pick somebody, come together to change the constitution so that if the person does not do well in the next two, three years, the person also leaves. Yes. If you start holding people that are accountable, I tell you, a lot of things will go right in this country. On this note, we've come to the end of a new We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.